back everybody to WLZ. Gonna move things along now with a match of the women's division, making her wrestling league debut. I'm very excited for this young lady, Stella Sparks. I'm, I'm also looking forward to her opponent, we'll get a touch more on that later. She's beauty, she's grace, and she will slap you in the face. Stella Sparks consider herself the elite in many ways of life and in the way of wrestling as well, but her opponent may be a little bit sweeter than that. kept it on that long without melting, personally. Now, as I said, Stella Sparks considered herself the elite, giving her weight measurement in uh, carrot diamonds. That's a new one to me, folks, but Stella Sparks does consider herself a member of the elite. Uh, I was speaking to her earlier. She hates the common man and despises the common woman. All her life, she's had to prove that she's the best at everything she works for wrestling included in that measure she might be looking to humiliate the uh, sweet and charming candy floss in this women's division matchup now underway both women now sizing each other up who's going to get the upper hand early on candy floss looking for a test of strength it looks like and trying to psych out the young miss sparks as well there we go finally got a lock up out of the two now going for that test of strength and candy floss straight into the hug like I said, she's so sweet, she'll give you cavities. Stella, though, not looking for any fun and games. She's here to prove a point tonight. Candy Foss with a... I was going to say a real waist lock. No, that, it, that is just a hug. To, that is just a hug to the waist, is all. Stella's pass, rushing to the rope, trying to break that hold. Not quite sure what to make of Candy Foss. Candy went for another hug. Stella with a real waist lock. I think Candy might, might think this is also a hug. Now sweeping the leg, blocking the attempt with a rear waist lock of her own. Stella now with the wrist lock, looking at send Candy into the ropes. Very unique spot there. Not too sure what to make of that. Clearly striking out Stella Sparks as well.
And of course, only trying to play nice. It looks like, oh, now working on the arm. As I said, she looks sweet, but she's not as sweet as people would believe. She will do anything to rip your arm straight out of his socket with a vicious Fujiwara armbar. Estella makes her way into the ropes. Wow. Make no mistake, Candy Floss did in fact survive a two month trip to Japan by ripping people's arms off. And looking to the same after Stella Sparks now. Now both these two just, just trying to get the butt of each other on the outside. Stella though, oh! Sending Candy Floss head first into the ring post and straight into the barrier afterwards. Trying to create some breathing room. Trying to take charge in this matchup. And Stella now, now just looking to humiliate Candy Floss in front of her onlookers. Sending her back into the ring now. The crowd giving Stella Sparks plenty of mouth and letting know exactly what they think of the elitist. Stella now maybe looking to work the arm herself. A turnabout fair play for Miss Floss. Just driving her knee into the crease of the elbow of the arm there. Trying to pop that joint out of place. That is not comfortable at all. Stella Sparks now. Looking to break the bank with a counter mutilation. Look at that bridge. Turn about fair play to Candy Floss. Now Stella trying to hyperextend both shoulders on Candy Floss. Candy though, looking like she's not going to give in. Turns it over into her favor. Now Stella though, keeping hold of the arm. Does not want Candy Floss to escape. Candy Floss trying to fight out. Now Estella sends her into the corner for a... Oh my goodness! Jumping off the second rope with a vicious arm breaker. Double knees to the back of the elbow. She should, but this is inexperience coming into play on Stella Spark. She's too busy playing to the crowd. Should have gone straight into the pin or carry on working on the arm because that's not going to win you the match by proving how much better you are to the people sat around you. Candy now running to the corner, just trying to get some feeling back into that joint. Or Stella Sparks looking to do here, runs into the corner. Candy with a big boot, watching the face of Stella Sparks. Candy now going up and going for a big arm drag and a double stomp to the chest. Almost dropped into a scent on there as well. Twice dropping all of the weight into the rib cage of Stella Sparks as she sits it down the corner. And now just the face wash by Candy Floss. Candy Floss, sorry. Now running up. Oh, hesitation drop kick. Right to the mush of the elitist. And now what is this? Looking for a straight jacket, backstabber! Good lord, that'll break a candy cane as Candy Floss goes to the pin. And only a two can look at her staying right on the other into a cross arm breaker, the candy cane! The Stella Sparks reverses into a roll up. Candy Floss kicks out just in the nick of time. Stella now, no playing around, just a knee to the gut. Now Candy Floss on her shoulders. What's she looking for here? Candy Floss escapes to the behind her now. There it is, the candy cane, the Fujiwara Ramba! Stella's right in the middle of the ring, she has nowhere to go, and Stella taps! Stella taps out! Candy Floss wins it! Candy Floss gets the win by nearly pulling Stella Sparks' arm out of her socket! Toughest fighters on Wrestling League, Sadie Gibbs. I'll have to speak to management because I'm interested in seeing that one myself.
GP action to come on WLZ now with a school of slam flavor. The silverback, Corey McRae. Former MMA fighter. He knows how to pick apart the human body. He knows how to pick apart the human mind. More than anything, he'll just kick you in the mouth. The silverback, the king of the jungle, now wants to be the king of the GP division. You can bet he uses size to Nick Payne to get this match sanctioned. Afraid to pick sides. This number one contendership match underway now for the GP title. Now, Aaron Warns is quite frankly a very fitting member of the GP division. He knows how to fly. Corey McRae, that was a bit of a puzzle to me personally. He's more of a ground and pound ruler technician, but he's won a championship, won a championship. And if anyone knows how to adapt, it's Corey McRae coming from an MMA background to professional wrestling. He's been training for a year and a half, ladies and gentlemen. And you can look at him now, he's in incredible shape. He's clearly a badass dude. And he's looking to embarrass Aaron Warns now as he just shoves him into the corner. Cody the ref there, giving Corey till the count of five to break the hold. Corey McRae just trying to get in the head of Aaron Warns here. Both these men sizing each other up in the early on of this match. Corey McRae with that weird place lock into a takedown. Oh, and look at that. Just, just messing with Aaron Warren, showing he's not taking him seriously at all. That is a slap in the face, as well as a slap to the back of the head by Corey McRae. Aaron Warren's taking a breather. He has to stay in the right mindset if he hopes to conquer King Kong in the ring there. Aaron Warren's went for lockup now with a very unique wrist lock. Corey McRae trying to reverse it. Aaron Warren's maintaining the grip though. Corey McRae slips under into a wrist lock of his own. Warren's trying to, to make sure that elbow does not get hyper extended though. McRae just riving that in. Warren's rolls out now into a kip up, reversing momentum into a wrist lock of his own once again, which Corey needs to fight out of this. 
straight away. If he wants to maintain any of those submission holes, he's so fond of. Warns though, really. No, Paul McRae there slipping out into another wristlock of his own. Both he's been trying to say, anything you can do, I can do better. Real game of one upmanship. Warns now looking to use the ropes to offset the momentum. Big arm drag to McRae. Warns with another arm drag, getting in deep on that one there. Holding Paul McRae in the air for a moment. Japanese arm drag now from Aaron Warns. Just dazing Paul McRae. I don't think he knows where it is already. And once he stay on the attack, just throwing his body weight into McRae, clotheslining him and just dumping him out of the ring there. It's not pretty, but it's sure as hell effective. As I said before, Aaron Warren likes to fly. Corey McRae, they're uh, doing a bad spot, son. Turn around, you're not going to like the view. Oh my goodness. Warren's went for a suicide dive. McRae managed to catch him at the last second. Oh, just a big shot to the gut there from McRae. What's he looking for here? Oh my! Big flip there from the ground game artist. But Aaron Warns now uh, with a big hip toss. McRae reverses it. Warns sends him into the ropes. Big Hurricane Rana by Warns there. Deezing McRae with a Frankensteiner. As he wants in the corner now. Or he went for a big heel kick. Sends Warns into the ropes. German suplex. Warns lands on his feet. Corey McRae doesn't know it. Warns with a roll up. Getting in there, high there. Only a two point on that roller. McRae ball, he had Warns with that suplex. Warns now setting McRae into the ropes. Big drop kick by Aaron Warns. Buying himself some precious breathing room. Looking to go into the cover now. Only a two count for the former Mr. Money in the bank of SOS. Gonna need a lot more than that to defeat the silverback, Corey McRae. Warns looks like he's not sure what to do from here. He sends McRae into the opposite of the ring. No. Corey reverses. Aaron jumps over, twists his body into another roll-up. Shifts his weight and only a two count still. McRae, holy hell! Big discus lariat from McRae getting himself some vital breathing there. He might have not Warns clean out. Wow, that is, that is genuinely taking me aback because that was a just disgusting lariat from Corey McRae. A thing of beauty nonetheless. Now looking to take advantage, just shoving his bare feet into the face of McRae. Chased back to his MMA career as he just warns with a DDT. He doesn't wear boots, he doesn't wear knee pads or rubber pads, he doesn't want the protection. Because that's also protection for his opponents. As he drops Warns with a DDT, now straight into the pin. Not straight into the pin, if he went straight into the pin, he might have had him, but no, he decided to delay it. And now he's getting frustrated with the ground and pound on Aaron Warns. Warns trying to block these shots from the silverback. Corey breaking through his five count, and then, oh, come on, just straight back into it now. This kid is a technical wizard, a ground and pound artist but he's not afraid to get down and dirty either. Warns, looks like he might be knocked out. Cody asking if he still wants to continue. Warns looking like he's giving the go ahead. Corey trying to take advantage of the dazed Aaron. Oh, come on now, that's just not necessary. He sends Aaron Warns into the ropes now. Big heel kick to Warns, just drops him flat, like a bad habit. Taunting the crowd and going into the pin. Very lackadaisical cover from McRae. His overconfidence might be getting the better of him now. I truly believe he could have put Aaron Warns away after that kick. He was out like, like a light. But McRae taking too much time playing to the crowd. And even now, not going on the attack, trying to rub it in the face of these people as much as he can. Looks to whip Warns into the other corner. Warns jumps over and McRae catches him this time. Looking for a big power slam, perhaps? No, switches. Big fall away slam from Corey McRae. Really showing Warns who is the boss, who's in charge of this match thus far. McRae needs to follow up now if he wants to capitalize on Warns' back. I couldn't agree more with whatever that young person just said. 
Corey McRae, what's he looking for here? Oh, just paint brushing the back of Warns' head and neck with that kick. Corey now looking to suplex Aaron back into the ring, perhaps. Warns holding onto the ropes, countering his weight. McRae can't get him over. Warns is not going to give in at all. Warns strikes to the kidneys of McRae now, fighting him off. Big forearm to Corey McRae. Knocks him down for just that few spare seconds. Anything Aaron Warns can get, he will take as he starts to climb to the top rope now. What's he looking for here? Trying to build up the crowd behind him. What's Warns looking for here? Oh, Corey McRae dashing to the ropes, knocking them clean out from Warns' feet. That'll make it hard to sit down for a week, let me tell you. Corey McRae making some precious breathing room for him now. He knows he has Warns exactly where he wants him on the top rope and in a lot of pain quite frankly McCoy you can see him now getting look, looking like he's letting this crowd get to him just a straight punch to the side of Warren's head Corey McRae looking for a suplex now perhaps here we go oh, big time suplex Corey McRae rolls over no way another big delayed suplex a strength from the silverback there, incredible into the cover. Two, two and seven eighths there. If he wasn't in such a lackadaisical pin, I think he would have had the match there and then. That was an incredible show of strength there from the silverback. What does Corey McRae have to do to put Warns down? Corey McRae looking to fly now. This isn't normally part of his technique, but whatever works. Corey McRae looking to springboard. Warns ducks out of the way and Warns running the rope. Spanish fly! Warns and McRae both out after that incredible reversal from Aaron Warns. Now, if you're Aaron Warns, you know you just hit a big time move, a match saver, but you can't capitalize because of the beating you've taken. Warns. Collapsing into the cover, just placing the cover over Corey McRae's chest. Not enough to get the three count. Something tells me we're getting to the bare bones of this match now, folks. It's not long till it's over now. Corey McRae, to his credit, still convinced he's going to win. Warns is first on his feet, though. Corey McRae staying on his back. Just trying to grab onto Cody, trying to grab onto anything to support him back up. What is Aaron looking to do here? Back up to that second rope. Nice center from Aaron Warren. Smooth, not messing about there. Waiting for McRae to get back to his feet. Aaron rushes in. Jumping flatliner from Aaron Warns. Just driving that shot home into the cover. Two. Wow, very close call there. Aaron Warns off that jumping flatliner. Not enough to Corey McRae. He's going to need that final warning, that last shot from Warns to put him away. Aaron Warns looking to climb to the top. Corey McRae's halfway across the ring. Aaron, though, that back is clearly not in his favor now. Uh oh, Corey's up. Big jumping shot to Aaron Warns' his kidneys. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, just throwing Warns down to the mat from the second row. If his back wasn't hurt before, it is now. Corey might be looking to finish this with that Law of the Jungle roundhouse kick. Oh no, what's he going for here? Oh! Getting a running start, driving his knee deep into the rib cage of Aaron Warns with a bad back combined. As well as not being able to breathe, that might be it. Here he goes, pulling for that kick. Oh, and he lands a shot right to the back of the neck. Warns. Warns is out on his feet. And he's not giving in at all. So Corey with a big forearm shot knocking Warns down. That's got to be it. There's no way Aaron Warns knows where he is now. Into the cover. One, two. Are you kidding me? How is Aaron Warns still awake? How is he conscious? But look at him getting straight into it. He could be looking for that final warning. He hits it. Driving the elbow right into the heart of the silverback. But he's not done. He's not done. He's still got more in the tank. Aaron Warns looking for the top once again. Corey doing anything again. Struggling to get him. 
Big move top of Woods, he lands on his feet on the front of the way. Lord the jungle, knee right to the chin of Woods, he's out. Two, three, that is it. Corey McRae, wow, out of nowhere. That Lord of the jungle kick right to the chin of Aaron Woods. Is the new number one contender to the GP Championship.